Welcome to our review on mitosis. First thing we're going to consider then is why we actually need body cells to divide. And there are three main reasons for this. First is that if we've damaged any tissue, we need to be able to repair it. The second one is that if any cells have become worn out, they need to be replaced. And finally, for organisms to actually be able to grow, they need more cells. Therefore, those cells have to divide. The process by which our body cells are actually going to divide is called mitosis. Now, go really careful with how you spell this on the exam and don't merge it with another cell division process we're going to look at in a later unit. So make sure that you learn how to spell it because it's one of those words they're going to be quite picky about giving you the mark for. And an easy way that I always get my kids to remember where mitosis takes place is by using that fun little phrase on there, mitosis happens in mitoses. So your toes are obviously part of your normal body and therefore that's where mitosis is happening. What we actually generate as a result of this process of mitosis are two cells. And the key thing about those cells is that they are what's called genetically identical. So basically they're clones of each other. So if they ask you what's produced in mitosis, two genetically identical cells is what we're looking for. One thing we need to understand is something called the cell cycle. Now, when we're talking about the cell cycle, what we're referring to is the process of cell growth and cell division. And it's divided up into four key stages. So the first one is DNA replication. Then we see the movement of chromosomes. Third stage, cytokinesis, and then that final stage is the growth of the daughter cell. If we consider that first step then of the whole cell cycle, the DNA replication phase. Now, what we actually find the first step here has to be is that that double stranded DNA molecule has to unzip. Once that's happened, we expose the bases on the actual DNA strands and then free DNA bases within the nucleus will pair up with their complementary base pairs. So A will pair with T and C will pair with G. And the easy way to remember that is the pointy letters go together, A and T, and then the curlier letters go together, the C and the G. So once we've actually replicated the entire DNA molecule, then what happens is that the chromosomes that are made of that DNA will then have their movement phase. So what happens here is once we've replicated them all, then they line up in the center of the cell called the equator. Now what we then find is that they're pulled apart to the opposite poles of the cell. So you can see that in the diagram there. And then once they've got to the opposite poles, a new nucleus then forms around them. That third stage then of our cell cycle is cytokinesis. Now all that happens here is our chromosomes are already at those opposite poles surrounded by their new nucleus and then the membrane of our cell actually pinches in and what we then find is we create those two daughter cells that have split off from each other. At the end of all of that what we have is that process of cell growth and what happens there is those daughter cells grow to their normal adult size. As soon as they fully grow, then the cycle starts again. Make sure that when we're talking about mitosis, you know how to spell it, first of all. Secondly, what it produces. And remember that phrase, genetically identical. You need to know the different stages of the cell cycle. And obviously use that little diagram I gave you there to help remind you of those different phases. You do need to know the process of DNA replication. And there used to be questions where they'd ask you what happens in DNA replication. And they're looking for DNA unzips for one, and then the complementary base pairing with the examples for the other marks. Once we've replicated the DNA, talk about the movement of the chromosomes, line up on the equator, pull the part to the opposite poles, new nucleus forms. Cytokinesis, the pinching in of the membrane to create the two identical cells that then grow in that final stage.